to the vlog. We're just getting right into it, no intro today, because we listed our Airbnb two days ago, and we already have six bookings. Literally within the first 24 hours, we got four, which is just insane. Almost all weekends in October are booked. We have like one entire week coming up, literally in four days it starts, where it's like one person's here for four days and then somebody's here for six days. Like the day that one checks out, one checks in, which is frightening to me because we are flipping them ourselves. Like we're doing the cleaning and switching out the sheets and all that stuff in between guests. And so next Tuesday will be our first time doing that. But anyway, it is totally done, obviously, but there were a couple things on our list that we still had to get and just kind of stock, like waters, toilet paper, paper towels. I don't know, some other random things on my list. But then I also did a question sticker on my Instagram asking people what makes them feel really welcome and comfortable when they go to an Airbnb to make sure that kind of we make it the best we can. And I got a lot of really great answers, so I'm going to go through those. But one thing that I did see reoccurring was like a welcome basket, like a basket with the waters in it, maybe some snacks, maybe some local guides, like tell people what to do, where to go, etc. And so I was planning to kind of go around town, get like a little basket and get things to fill inside of there. That's my plan for today is to do that, kind of get things finished there for our first guest that comes literally in four days. I don't even have like the check-in and check-out stuff set up, meaning like I don't have the instructions. Oh, the light just really shifted in here. I don't have the check-in and check-out instructions ready yet. I mean, when I say ready, I mean I haven't even thought about what those instructions are. So that's kind of also on the agenda today to do. It's already one o'clock. I did my like regular work stuff for the day this morning. I had some other things I needed to do, but really I'm just eager to get over there and get it set up. I'm really loving this Airbnb stuff. So let's do it. Let's go find a basket, but first Starbucks, because if I'm leaving the house, I, I need a coffee and our Nespresso needs to be like descaled or something. It has like a weird orange light on it and my coffee this morning tasted kind of funky. So we're gonna go to Starbucks. Welcome to Starbucks, can I help you? Hi, can I do the iced um, brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso? Here you go. Thank you. You too. This is my favorite Starbucks drink. Even though it's pumpkin cream cold brew season and I did get one already this season, this is still my favorite go-to at Starbucks. Okay, I am like the one person who doesn't have a spot to put their camera in their car. Like, oh my God, and now someone's turning here. Oh, vlogging and driving is not a thing. I can't do this. <laughs> okay, took the camera off the tripod so I could set it up here. But first stop is Goodwill, and I'll explain why once I read you the list of what we need. So what we still need is silverware. I could have swore to you that I bought silverware at Ikea, but I can't find it anywhere. So silverware, extra plates and bowls because we got enough plates and bowls for four people, but we can host up to seven. So I need enough for like seven to eight people. Can opener, glasses and cups, baking sheets, coffee filters, aluminum foil, salt, pepper, olive oil, cooking spray, paper towels, toilet paper, and stuff for a welcome basket. So I figured here at Goodwill, I might be able to find some spare plates for cheap, possibly some cups, and then some things for the welcome basket, if not the actual basket itself. I am huge on thrifting, discounts, secondhand things. Oh my gosh, there's somebody by a bike with a bike mark today. Lord have mercy. I am huge on thrifting, getting things secondhand, getting things off Facebook Marketplace, getting things for a discount. So before I head to a place like TJ Maxx or Walmart, even though Walmart is surprisingly, not surprisingly, but Walmart's really good and really cheap. So that's usually my department store of choice if I can get to one closer than like a Target or something. But before I go to any of those types of stores that sell things new, I try to scour thrift stores, Goodwills, Salvation Army, and Facebook Marketplace for things that are self secondhand because A, cheaper, B, less waste. And there's gonna be a lot of waste that goes into any sort of hospitality business. And I wanna try to minimize that the most I can. So we're here at Goodwill. I'm not gonna bring my camera in, but I'll bring my phone in. And let's look for some silverware, plates, and other random things we might find.
like a semi success, honestly. I got some plates. What else did I get? I'm already forgetting. I got a little basket for like an oops basket I'm gonna make that is going to be like, if you forgot something like a toothbrush, maybe a little thing in deodorant, etc. I got some really cute books that go together. There were, it was like a set of three books. I think they were travel books, but honestly, they just match the theme, the blue theme of the house. And so there's a couple shelves on a bookshelf that I have in the living room that are empty. And so I thought those would go perfectly there. I got a baking sheet for $2. So that was nice. A baking sheet's a baking sheet. I'm going to wash it and like it works. I didn't get any cups because it was kind of like a bunch of mix and match, but I did get these four coffee mugs that say the circle of life. And I was taking so long trying to figure out what the image was. I was like, oh, maybe this was a place someone did and it's like a weird graphic on it, but no, it's actually a donut. And I was like, this is perfect. Love that. So I got a set of four mugs. I'll tell you all the prices actually when I get home. So instead of me going through everything that I just got, let me wait till I get home. I'll give you a haul and I'll give you all of the prices, but I spent $29 and I think 90 cents in that Goodwill just now. So I'm pretty happy about that with what I got because easily just the set of eight plates alone could have been like $30. Honestly, I don't know. I don't really know what to compare it to, but that sounded good to me. There was a really cute lamp I almost bought and it was like, what, five or six dollars and there was a lampshade that fit perfectly with it, but I don't, this is gonna sound dumb, but like I really genuinely don't know how lampshades go on to lights. Like do they rest on top of the light bulb or do they actually like get secured in there somehow? I don't really know. And so I kind of felt uncertain about getting a lamp and using a lampshade incorrectly and possibly like causing a fire or something. So I'd rather just buy a new lamp, like anything electrical for that reason, like that just kind of scares me. But in one of our guest rooms, there's no end table lights and I would love to get some end table lights on those. And this one would have matched perfectly, but it just, I don't know how to put a lampshade on. And I tried to Google it and it wasn't like the clearest and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna leave it. I think I secured it correctly. I'll show you guys the video of me like trying to put it actually onto the base and then, so it would have gone around the base where the light bulb goes and then the light bulb would have gone on top of like what's securing the lampshade to it. But like, then I just felt like the light bulb would have been high up in the lampshade. So I don't know, I don't know, but it freaked me out. So anyways, I'm going to run right across the street to UPS to return a package that I have here that I need to return. So I'm gonna take that and then I'm going to head to TJ Maxx and then we'll see where we're at with everything. Also, I am going to be washing everything in case that wasn't obvious. Yes, I'm getting things from Goodwill, but like I make sure it's clean. Like even the basket that I got, I'm gonna get a sanitizing spray and like spray the crap out of it. The dishes I'm going to wash on a high temperature wash. Um, so everything is clean that I get secondhand. Like I wouldn't do that to people. Anyways, okay, going into the UPS store and then to TJ Maxx. So the next clip will be TJ Maxx. Let's go. They have these things here, but I bet they're more expensive than like Walmart or like Ralph's or something. Yeah, I feel like $6.99. We can definitely get those cheaper. Plus like, oh, I just want like the individual ones too. So, no mind. Oh my God, these puzzles are so cute. Look. Oh my god, these are so cute. I wish I could get like a couple of them and put them like on a bookshelf together, but I already have so many puzzles. Look at that. Oh my god, these are so cute. Where did these come from? Oh, how much are they? There's one sitting here. $10. Oh my god. Okay, like I might get one. <laughs> They're really cute. talking about how good I am at budgeting and then I just bought a bunch of stuff that wasn't on my list today but it's fine I'll explain later trying to get this chair into my overly stuffed car it's 
always return your buggy. It takes like two seconds and you get some extra steps in. And it's the nice thing to do. <laughs> Was a chair on my list? I can't remember. Don't at me, okay? So the thing is, we really do need extra chairs because we have seating for four people at the dining table and I didn't have a chair for the dedicated workspace. So when I saw this chair, I was like, it's cute. Could I have gotten it cheaper on Facebook Marketplace? Yes, but we have guests coming to stay in four days and like I don't have time to scour Facebook Marketplace for a chair. And the last chair that I almost bought on Facebook Ma Marketplace was $60 and this one was 40. So I was like, whatever, it'll work for now. And it's like a cute chair that if I get a better desk chair in the future for that area, I can just like set this in the corner of a room for someone to sit on while they put their shoes on or for an extra chair for the dining table or like whatever. So I got that also. I got a lot of other stuff I didn't need. I got some stuff I did need, like I got the basket, I got, I always forget what I got, so we'll just do the haul once we get there, but I did, I got unnecessary things I really didn't need to get. TJ Maxx just like gets me, you know? Ugh, this whole video was like, I budget and I get things cheap and I don't wanna get things I don't need, I wanna be sustainable and not wasteful and, Anyways, there are things that have use. It's not like a waste. They have use, but um, I did buy the puzzles, about three. So we're going to Walmart now because now I need like those basics, those basic things, you know, like the silverware. And I did, I was gonna buy silverware here because they had it, but I looked up on my Walmart app right before I like went to get that silverware because the silverware here was like $25 for a set for four people. So like it was 20 pieces and a set for four people from Walmart was $10. And silverware is silverware, and it's for an Airbnb, like it doesn't need to be like some high quality fancy stuff. My opinion on TJ Maxx, even though I love it, is that it's like high quality items, luxury items priced down, but it's not gonna be the cheapest. I can get more value out of certain items from a place like Walmart. It might be lower quality, and it's really not half the time. Like silverware, cups, plates, like those things, you're not, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like I'm, I'm sacrificing an extreme amount of quality to buy stuff at Walmart, but I'm gonna get it cheaper at Walmart. So anyways, we're going to Walmart to get some of those other things that I think I could get lower prices for, but like cute stuff, you definitely, like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, like it's definitely the go-to. Okay, off to Walmart. Oh shoot, I left some stuff at my house, okay. I'm gonna drive back to my house, get that stuff, go to Walmart, and then go to the Airbnb. Oh, I also got from TJ Maxx like pet stuff because we're pet friendly. This, this camera's just gonna slide around. I got like a dog water bowl and food bowl, but I got like a nice one, like a stainless steel one. I shouldn't have done that. And then I also got like a little dog treats container and I'm gonna fill it with like milk biscuits, milk bones or whatever they're called. So yeah, like I didn't need to do that, but those are the types of things I feel like in an Airbnb that really make your guests feel special and make them leave feeling like, wow, I just had a really great experience. That was so nice. I also got like a little notepad to write handwritten notes. Like, hey, welcome Julie. Like, we're so excited for you to stay or like, welcome Julie and you know, Max the dog or whatever. Like I think that those things are really cute and like just special and this is something I enjoy doing. So that's what I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to create that sort of experience for the guests. Like where it's very personal and they feel special and welcome. And I think that's how you get some good reviews and have people come back, so. My phone died when I was inside of the dollar store, so I didn't get any more footage from the dollar store into Walmart, but like there's plenty to show you. I'll just show you now that I'm home. But first, I'm gonna order some food to this house because I'm starving. I ate before I head out for all of this at like, what, 12.30? Now it's five, I'm starving. I do have some snacks around here though if I really need it. But I'm gonna order some food. 
I don't know what I want, but oh my gosh, I'm like sweating bringing all of this stuff in. I can't wait to show you. Also, not me saying that I care about making this as sustainable as possible and not producing so much waste through it all and then forgetting my reusable bags. But you can recycle these types of bags at my local grocery store and we tend to save them for the like small trash bins anyway. So they will get used one way or another. I never just throw these types of plastic bags away. Like I just, I can't do that. But now I'm justifying my waste. So anyway, let me order some food and then Let's do like a little haul, shall we? <sighs> Look at me, I <laughs> look like I've been through it. I should have just worn like sweats and stuff, but I thought I'd do the tour, so I wanted to make myself look nice. But honestly, what is happening here? It's all coming untied. Uh, so my phone is literally dying. It's at 2% and I didn't bring a charger with me, but luckily I bought some chargers for our guests. If they forget, I'm going to probably leave like a little note with it that says, please leave after you finish using it. So they don't actually take the charger with them, but if they forgot it and they need a charger for while they're staying, um, I thought it'd be nice to have some on hand for them and hopefully they don't take it. If they do, this was like $10 for two chargers from Walmart, but I'm just showing you this first since I actually literally have to use it. But I hate that you have to buy the USB thing with cords. Like it doesn't just come with it. So I had to buy this separately, which I think was like $5. So whatever, why does Apple and every company now not give you everything you need to charge your phone? It's like you have to buy two different things. It doesn't make any sense. So that is the first thing that I bought part of the haul. Let's get into what I got. Walmart is truly underrated. I say it all the time. At TJ Maxx in total with my little discount, it was for $1.25 each. 